we've decided to kick off with the Porsche 911. You see, when it was launched, what, four, five thousand years ago? <laughs> it was very fast and very dangerous. But then over the years, they made it softer and more civilised and safer until they ended up with this one. Now, this wasn't so much a car, more a place where a fat, balding, middle-aged man could go off and have his midlife crisis. <laughs> I liked it a lot. <laughs> This, though, is the all-new model, designed to take the 911 back to its raw, basic, white-knuckle roots. They say everything has been sharpened up, hunkered down, tightened. They say it's gone back to being a car for Silverstone, rather than Silvertown Way. That it's more brand's hatch than brand marketing. Though it's hard to see what they're on about because it feels to me exactly the Hang on a minute. I think I've made a dreadful mistake here. I think this is the new one. It is, look, 50... It's the new... And that's the old one. See, I just came here this morning, I got in the wrong one. I am so sorry. In my defence, you have to admit, the two cars do look remarkably similar. Porsche say that apart from the roof, every panel on the new car is new. But surely, if you're going to make new panels, why not make them look different? This has to be the laziest makeover ever. It's like Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen looking at a completely white wall and saying, yeah, I think I'm going to paint that white. And the front of the designery must have walked into the Porsche boardroom and said, yeah, that new 911, lads, done it. I'm, uh, I'm off down a pub. Oh, my God. They haven't bothered in here either. I mean, apart from all this stuff, the satellite navigation and the heater and so on, which I think they've lifted from the KN, the four-wheel drive Porsche, and that stopwatch, it really is a question of interior styling by déjà vu. <laughs> There's more evidence, too, that Porsche weren't really concentrating when they designed this car. I mean, change into third and the gear lever comes off. That's not very porsche -ish. And neither is the positioning of these electric seat memory buttons. You see, every time I go round a corner, my knee bashes into them and I slide gracefully into my wife's driving position. It's, um... It's quite hard to drive like this, to be honest. See what I mean? Plenty of mistakes then, but you're probably thinking, who cares? Just so long as it's better to drive and faster. Well, the new Carrera with its new 3.6-litre engine and new gearbox will do 0 to 60 in five seconds and reach 177. And guess what? Those are exactly the same performance figures that you got from the old 3.6-litre Carrera. Mind you, this does cost £58,000. Mm, no, that's the same as well. So, to sum up, the new Carrera is pretty much the same as the old one, except the gear lever comes off. This, however, is not a standard Carrera. This is a Carrera... S. And the S stands for so fat, balding, middle-aged man, go and have your midlife crisis somewhere else. The S rides low on fat, noisy tyres. It has a harsh, bone-breaking ride that jiggles your jowls and rattles the trim. It is as uncomfortable and as loud as Rod Stewart's leopard-skin disco trousers. So, if you just want something to pose around the harbour bar, you'll pretty much hate it. But if you want to drive, it is spectacularly good.
thanks to a bigger engine, 3.8 litres, the S can get from 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds. Kick your foot hard down and you'll ride a wave of that familiar Porsche howl. All the way to a top speed of 182. Then there's this little button here with sport written on it. Push it and everything changes. The throttle response is sharpened up, the suspension is stiffened, the anti-lock braking system is watered down, and so is the traction control. You push that, you turn your 911 into an absolute animal. In sport mode, it'll go around the Nürburgring in Germany 20 seconds a lap faster than the old model. The cornering speeds that this car can achieve just astonishing. I mean, I can't remember going round there faster than that. That's 85 miles an hour round the hammerhead. The wrong way round the hammerhead. It's so fast and so well planted, they're not even going to bother making a four-wheel drive version like they used to. Just wouldn't be necessary. It is pure Porscheography. And look at this. This is something I've never seen before on a road car. You can program the onboard computer with the length of the lap that you're about to do, and then it stores your times, and you can show them to your friends later. Of course, they won't be your friends anymore, but what a thing. What a gadget, what a tool. You'll look. This, then, is a car for properly keen drivers who won't care about the wonky gear lever or the lazy styling or the bone-breaking ride. This, then, is a 911 of the old school.